Hi everyone, this is Dr. Beal's quick tour of the eye. Um, what you're looking at here externally is the lacrimal gland, makes your tears. The duct work here sends all the tears over to the medial side. This would be the lacrimal bulb where the tears are stored. Um, the lacrimal caruncle is the little pink structure right here in the inner canthus, the inner medial region of the eye. You can see the superior palpebra and the inferior palpebra. Those are lids. The clear structure externally in the front would be the cornea. If I remove this, um, the white of the eye is medically called the, uh, the sclera. The sclera is the outer tunic. A tunic is basically just a layer, guys, so don't let that term scare you. The outermost or superficial layer is the sclera. We've already done the muscles, so we're ignoring that. If I open this and we look inside, there is a space in between the cornea here and the colored portion of the eye, which is the iris. The space in here is the anterior cavity and the, um, the anterior chamber here, and it's filled with a gel-like fluid called the aqueous humor. So this is anterior chamber filled with aqueous humor. If we flip this back around again, and we look at this. The pupil is a hole in the center of the iris. The iris will uh, constrict and, and dilate to change the diameter of this pupil to allow different amounts of light into the eye. So if we crack this open again, um, and we look at the eye kind of from the side here, you can see the lens. The lens is biconvex. It is behind the iris. I'm just gonna remove the lens quickly. And you can see clearly this, um, this big plastic ball is their representation of the um, vitreous humor. The vitreous chamber is this big fat chamber in the back, it's very large. Vitreous humor is a gel-like substance as well. I'm gonna remove that. So what's left here, we're looking at, the lens would sit, whoops, the lens would sit right here in this space. So this round looking red daisy structure, that's the ciliary muscle. And the white painting that they have going on here is their representation of the suspensory ligaments. When the ciliary muscle contracts and relaxes, it changes the shape of the lens, it pulls on the lens. So depending on the shape of the lens, you're gonna accommodate to near or far vision. That's gonna help you focus, find focus uh, the image on the retina. So what you're looking at when I lift this up, they've got this painted dark brown. The dark brown represents the next deep tunic. Remember we said the external tunic here is the sclera. The, the next deep tunic is called the choroid. The choroid layer is the vascular layer. It's got blood vessels and things in it. And then the innermost tunic or the neural tunic is the retina. In this model, it's kind of an RNG kind of peachy color that would represent the retina. You can see the blood vessels uh, showing through from the choroid layer that would be deep to the retina. If you look at the back of the eye, if I swing this around, you can clearly see the optic nerve, cranial nerve two, entering the back of the eye. The area in the back of the eye where the optic nerve enters is called the optic disc. It is a blind spot, there's no rods or cones there. If you look right here, there's a round pink structure that represents the macula, and there's a tiny little dot in the center of that that represents fovea centralis. The macula is your area of best central vision. It's only about maybe five millimeters, guys, maybe like a quarter of an inch, and the fovea in the center of that's maybe a millimeter or two, tiny, tiny spot in the center of that. Um, trying to think if I left anything off of this. I think that's about the quick tour of the eye.